So if you couldn't tell from the title, yes, I'm playing 3 accounts on Genshin Impact because I like to torture myself. Anyways, as someone who spent his entire time re-rolling, I have no idea at all why I decided to play 3 accounts at once. One of them was my main, the other is an account that ends up being my current main, and the last one is just a chill one. This is a video to show you guys what they look like and as to why I am somehow not bored with the game. So firstly, this is my main account, it's AR36, it's not too far progress. I'm not even done with the story, but um, it's it's my first account. It's not really first, uh, like first account that I settled with, because uh, I got a pretty decent role, I guess. I got Venti. That was pretty much it. I got Venti, I got Fisho, I got Beidou. I got Chong Yun. The main reason I kept this account was because I like Beidou and I got Venti and I got Chong Yun. I like Chong Yun and Beidou. Yeah. And then I proceeded to get eventually Sing Chu, Ning Guang, and the rest are free characters. So, gear wise, um, I don't think they are that great because. The whole point of this first account, uh, as I play along, it's this, I slowly realize that it's um more of a experimental account, like because it's my first time playing, because it's my first experience. I go through everything, learn from my mistakes, but uh, I can apply all those to my other accounts, which I do. So this account mainly focuses on Chong. Uh, yeah, I'm running currently running a four piece gladiator. I don't even have a good um, cup. I'm just running HP because I just want the four piece effect. Um, running standard attack, attack, and HP. And this four piece gladiator. That's pretty much the only good gear I have. It's using a prototype animus. Uh, talents are not even maxed. I think yeah, they're not even maxed. So one reason why I kept this account was also I think I rolled with a very important weapon, uh, Stringless. And as you can see, it's until refinement 3. And uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good, I have to say so. Uh, artifacts on the other hand, uh, Viridescent Venera, but they, they are, they're all just, they are just placeholder, they're not really good rolls. That is there for the four piece effect because you know there's no point farming until you're like AR forty plus for artifacts. That's pretty much it. Fischl, I built her as a elemental support, so instructor. Uh, Beidou was supposed to be my second carry, but then I messed up. I guess. I guess I just didn't have um, enough good enough gear to gear her up. Xiangling is supposed to be my second carry because you know Crescent Pike is broken and all. And uh running four piece berserker, I actually had the gladiator set on Xiangling, but I realized since Chong's gonna be my main carry, because it's the only one that's uh ascension four right now, I might as well just you know give it to Chong. So other than that, my Barbara has a 4 piece maiden, but it's not even good. It's uh, pretty poor stats. Not even the right stats. Attack, HP, attack. And uh, that's, that's, that's pretty much it for this account. Uh, it looks pretty bad. It is recoverable, but it's gonna take time. I did... I do have... Uh, Blessing of the Welkin Moon on this account. Uh, and it has gotten me pretty much <laughs> nowhere, I guess. I'm just saving this. My only hope of saving, quote unquote, saving this account is getting Chow. But, uh, because I forgot to show, I do have a 5 star bow. And uh, it's on my official. But because my fish shows elemental support, it's not really a great idea to equip this on my fish show. My fish show usually had this, 
but it's not even a good idea either because this is for uh, physical carry but I have her as elemental support again so if I get child, this weapon is gonna be busted on child because it child relies a lot on crit and this is gonna I'm curious if this effect actually applies to his melee attacks if it does that's pretty good so yeah story wise I haven't even finished the story I did finish I do know what the story has and I guess just playing it conservative. I'm just using this as an experimental account at this point. And uh hopefully I get Chow on this account so I can play more uh with a smooth experience. Now this is my second account that has become my current main. And the first reason uh as you can see it's already AR34. First reason cutting is bay. What else can I say? Um, I think I I spent about forty plus rerolls just trying to get cutting, even though she wasn't my intended five star. I just decided to go with it because she's 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 her skills are pretty uh cool. And then I got Bennett, uh, as well as no, I just had Bennett, uh. And Sing Chu, I think. No, I just had Bennett and Cutting, that's all. But I when I first got this account from the Rero, I thought to myself, Xiangling's free, I can run double pyro, I can temporarily temporarily run Xiangling and Ember for double pyro early on. Can I wanted to build a Noel, so I did. And uh I get Barbara for free as well. So it went pretty smoothly. I got a solid main four, I guess. Uh, this is usually my main four. It'll be Bennett, Xiangling, Kerting, Barbara. And uh, second team, I'm kind of stuck on deciding because uh, this account, it's very little roles. This is mostly from my free to play. And uh, this account is waiting for Ayaka. Yeah, I'm saving up for Ayaka, but uh, as a general progress buff, I am rolling 10. I'm just doing one 10 roll on every banner. So I did do 10 on Klee, which is why I have a Sing Chu right now. And a sucrose. The sucrose is very useful. I did up her. And uh yeah, I'm saving the other ten for child, Zongli, and then hopefully to all in and get Ayaka. Uh I don't really plan to go further than just buying monthly passes and battle passes. I did decide uh if this is gonna be my New main, I might as well just get another blessing uh, as well. So yeah, I did get one on this account. And uh, another reason that I stuck with this account was because I started out with the flute for Kaching. All Bennett, but I went with Kaching. And uh, yeah, that means Kaching hyper carry, which is pretty neat. And then let's go into gear. As you can see, it's nothing special, it's just four piece berserker. But for level 59, she already has almost 1.6k attack, which is pretty nutty. Reason being, I just this is the account where I learn all the mistakes. I min max optimize everything plan out everything make sure i do my mora talent even have to cheat sheet or ascension materials um uh, where are all the which days have what talents or ascension materials and uh just min maxing my gear properly you can see attack 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 pretty much it uh 
this is obviously not gonna stick for a while until I get AR 40 plus where I can get uh, 5 star thundering sets and as for my Noel, she's not much but she has pretty decent defense and attack because of the brave set brave set having defense and uh, exile to help the geo and then white blind my white blind is pretty high uh, at least it's it's up to date and uh I think Noel is supposed to be my second most damaging but then I got Xiangling with Crescent Pike and I'm like holy shit look at that stats she's almost on par with Kurtzing for the artifacts well two piece gladiator two piece soldier just a straight attack buff pretty lucky with um, getting 5 star gladiator feather early on and uh <laughs> you can see a maiden but he has good stats so I'm keeping it so until I get a better gladiator I'm gonna stick with this for Xiangling cause Xiangling holy shit she's, she is a strong carry now as for my Bennett, I'm not having him as my carry I have him as a uh, out spam support you can see I got double energy recharge 2 pieces they are running pretty well crit rate HP HP attack HP probably want to run HP over attack just so you can heal more and uh, because the attack getting attack on Bennett if we are uh, support it doesn't help with his out because his out is based off ba uh, base attack so my sucros pretty basic I don't have a iridescent yet uh, I have no real need to at the moment because uh, these two are carrying Kaya shouldn't have upped at all uh, 39, probably could have just kept at 20 Barbara, 39 uh, haven't got her good stuff just run 4 piece exile for now and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for this account it is my strongest account at the moment because it's uh, I plan out everything before I do anything to the to upgrades and uh, yeah I'm hoping I can go pretty far with this account Without really needing to get a uh, content gate, the co content walled all over. See 1.3 million Mora. I'm uh, currently prepared for AR35 Ascension. And uh, hopefully, I'll get high with this account. Yeah. Now, this is my final account, or at least my third account at the moment. And, uh,. <laughs> It's uh once you see the characters you'll be like why is this not your main? This is the one I chill on. And uh Yeah. It's pretty it's a lot of characters. Uh considering I've only I think I've only wrote um besides the rerolls, I think I only wrote another twenty or ten at least. And uh I start the reason why I kept this account was because of uh, getting Razor, TT, and Fischl at the start. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> uh, if anyone knows, uh, this is pretty much the perfect superconduct team for Razor. So I have Razor as my hyper carry. Uh, obviously, using the Animus artifacts is just standard two piece Berserker, two piece Soldier for the attack buff and the crit rate. Uh, nothing too special. TT same, I guess. I don't really use her for. I'm not really upping her. Facial is pretty much just there to be electro. I don't even build her anymore. <laughs> or at least because I don't want to waste resources. Because facial, you don't really need facial for the Razor Superconduct comp, but she's just there for double electro, I guess. And a uh, Kaya with a sacrificial sword, pretty interesting uh, drop I got at the start, uh, which is perfect. So I can keep him at level twenty. I did ascend him, but like it's cheap. So and yes, instructor set so I can improve elemental mastery for my whole team. And uh, that's pretty much all I leveled up. So uh, what am I gonna do for Spiral Abyss? I'm planning to up Ningguang because uh, I do have a Witsif, which is uh 
I mean, it's not the best choice, but uh, might as well. I want to try Ningguang as well. I do have a Triple Geo, so I can try that. I also have a Xiangling with Crescent Pike if I ever do fail with my Triple Geo. And uh, yeah, I do have the Barbara. Don't really need her. Probably use her on the fourth, uh, second team. Because I already have Chi Chi. Uh, weapon wise, pretty decent. But this is pretty much just carried by Razor. And uh, AR25, but I've like barely done any side quests. And uh, I've only just finished the one step uh, arc. So what's going on? Um, why are you playing three accounts? Why are you wasting time? Rerolling? Why are you? Why not just progress into the game? Uh, well, it's because uh, one fun thing about doing rerolls and uh, having multiple accounts is that for me, I've made it so that every one of my accounts is a different experience. Uh, as you can see, most of the characters are different from uh, each account and uh, it's fun for me because I get to try out different builds, different playstyles, different themes, elements I wanted to play, I want to build, I even might <laughs> want a fourth account just to um, try out the free to play, full free to play experience and I also really want to build Ember, uh, just, just for that, just for that, 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 that free experience you know I don't know how to describe it I really like Ember I know she's weak she can be good uh, but like all characters they can be good if they have the right gear and stuff and uh, but yeah I just really want to I really just want to try Ember so that's uh, one reason I have multiple accounts get to play all sorts of um, different playstyles and I'm sure you guys can agree even though um, some characters are pretty similar, straightforward building, just build a tech, uh, stuff like Triple Geo or Freeze Comms, they are fun to experiment. And uh, yeah, I hope I can branch out more in my accounts and uh, have fun. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the main reason, just have fun. Um, another reason is, you know, resin. Uh, once you're done with the like one account, I can always just swap to another account and use up the resin, uh, play more, grind more, and uh, yeah, plan out my um resin usage for each day for different accounts because there's different needs, and then it gets really fun. So it's like resource management. I think I think I like that. That's pretty much why. Uh, because you gotta invest properly. If not, you'll destroy your account, like what I'm almost doing to my actual main account. And uh, yeah. So one one reason it's bad is probably because yeah, it's you're gonna take a lot of time to go through everything. You're doing everything again. It'll get boring. For me, not really. I mean, I can once I'm once I've experienced it before, the rest I can just skip the cutscenes or like, not, not cutscenes, the dialogue and I already know what happens. Uh, they are, some of them are enjoyable to do again, so I don't see big repetitive problem uh, because uh, in the end this game is open world, you're supposed to explore. Uh, there's still a lot of shit I haven't explored even though I'm I have three accounts and I have like collect have to collect like geoculuses, animoculus for like all three of them. And uh that can get a bit annoying. Um but other than that it's, it's this is fine. And uh another bad reason is I uh, obviously progression is gonna be slower because I have to focus on I can't just focus on one account, I've gotta focus on all three. Uh, I mean, I don't really focus on the Razor account, I'm taking it slowly for that one, but yeah, you get the point. I could be probably like, what, AR42 or some shit before, like, um, by now, if I didn't spend like 50 hours into re-rolling 
uh, another 40 more hours on the other accounts, stuff like that, and uh, yeah, I probably would, would be like crying in resin at AR40 plus and stuff, farming go artifacts that have shit rolls. But yeah, I, uh, it's also another good reason is that it, it's a good pacing because, you know, everyone's burning out, burning themselves out, rushing all the way to AR40, 50, uh, trying to send all the way. Just keep in mind, guys, the game is not even over. Uh, like, what's the point if you are gonna hit uh, Ascension 6? If I if I'm correct, Ascension six, and then for the other like five regions that are coming up, you're just not gonna level anymore. It's like what's the point? And uh, so take it slow, guys. That's uh why I'm enjoying this game more than those who are burning out and no lifing on the first day and why gaming. Yeah. So now I've told you why it's uh what it's like to have three accounts and uh, showed you why it's good and bad to have these three, ac uh, three accounts or multiple accounts or re-rolling in general and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, I'll probably do more updates on my accounts if you guys like and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can put out more content I guess and uh, See you guys next time.